do, we're gonna go and hook this up, take half the packet, right? This probably has what? This has 760 60 nanograms of sodium. So you're controlling it. Controlling it, right? Mm -hmm. Do half of it, right? Half of it, throw some cilantro in there when you're cooking it, some mushrooms, some bok choy. Ever heard of bok choy? Yeah, I know bok choy. Do yeah. the bok choy in there. When you when you hooking that thing up, man. All right, y'all, here is Coach Cliff at it again. Like I told you on a couple of videos before, I was going to do the ramen noodle remix, right? And look here, we're in the first time in uh, Opera Wellness Life. We're, in, we're doing the kitchen scene, right? And uh, we're going to be doing this a lot, right? But I'm just kind of feeling my way out. But this, you know, Chef Get Down, Coach Cliff, we're going to call himself uh, uh, Chef Cliff up in here. And we're going to show you how to do the ramen, ramen noodle remix, right? So anyway, let's get this thing quick and fast. First thing we have is a ramen noodle, right? We have some onions, right? We have some mushrooms. Boom, got some mushrooms. Cilantro, cilantro. Yep, nice green one. Remember that bok choy I told, I, I, y'all saw in the opening? This is what it is, the bok choy, right? Uh, we got a, got a, some, a jalapeno, and um, also we got some uh, salt, uh, some pepper, some garlic, got, uh, powdered garlic, and then we got some powdered uh, onion, right? Very quick. So for you guys, we we for, to get this thing get this thing started. Obviously, you're gonna need a knife. That's we got this here. This is the chef knife, right? You wanna have a cutting board, and we're gonna get to it. So what we wanna do. We wanna prep everything to get it, get it ready for the stove, right? So first thing we wanna do is uh get this bok choy. So what I'll do, I get a couple of these part right here, right? A couple of these parts. And um, we're gonna talk about the benefits of bok choy, right? So bok choy, right, is a part of the, I can't say the word, cruciferous family, right? That's the, the spinach and your broccoli, right? We wanna be eating this almost, no, we wanna be eating this every day, right? Obviously, you could get your salads, you put in your salads, and, and other things. But sometimes you might not want to do a salad that day. We, well, we still got to want to get it in because as all of these foods, right, these are whole food plant-based foods, right? Some may call these some of these food superfoods, right? It, these, these foods have compounds, and they all, I'm going to say it, right, but they all have compounds. Have you heard this uh, term? I'm sure you guys heard it before, antioxidants. Well, it sounds real fancy. The way I understand it is, Obviously, our bodies are full of cells, right? You got, uh, you got uh, you know, um, you know, skin cells, you have uh, you know, organ cells, heart cells, such things, right? So what we want to do, we want to keep these cells that are, that, that are in our bodies, or our, our bodies are made of cells, we want to keep them healthy, right? So what the antioxidants do, they, um, when we consume them, they protect our, our, the cells and keep them healthy. In other words, let's say you um, have a bike, you have a bike chain, right? and you leave the bike outside for a little while and it's raining or whatever, whatever, or you leave it inside your garage, right? That chain is a metal, right? And what you're supposed to do to do bike maintenance, or your, 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 as far as the bike, you spray some WD-40 on that, right? And that keeps the bike, keep the bike chains working as planned and it doesn't rust out. So we know if we leave the bike chain outside to, to, to without being constantly protected, it's gonna rust out. When it rust out, it can't be used anymore. Same thing with antioxidants. When we eat foods that have antioxidants, it acts like the WD-40 for our, for our cells. It keeps the cells uh, working, doesn't keep the cells from rusting out, right? That's why it says antioxidant, uh, antioxidant because it means no oxidation. If there's oxidation on the, on the metal, the, cells, the, the, the uh, chain of that bike's gonna rust out. We don't want to rest these cells, right? So that's why we're going to continue to eat these foods on a continued and um, habitual basis, right? So this that's what bok choy do. I think bok choy come from, uh, uh, we're going to keep one, can't throw them away. Bok choy come from China. We'll put that to the side, right? Next thing we want to do is talk about onions, right? Onions are awesome. Onions you can eat in anything. You, you have onions in your sandwiches. You have onions in your salads. We're going to put it in our ramen noodle, right? So onions, I think, come from the I can't pronounce the word, ilium, family, whatever. 
They are awesome to maintain good gut health. If you eat these onions on a consistent basis, it maintains good gut health, right? It has compounds in it to where the bad, bad uh, bacteria, it, 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 it inhibits the growth of these bad bacteria, right? So we want to eat these onions and also onions. The cousin of the onions is, is garlic. We will get that later with our garlic powder, right? So that's what's good with onions. Helps regulate um, uh, uh, blood sugar and also regulate, helps regulate cholesterol, right? Uh, so we got the uh, also cilantro. All these... All these whole food, plant-based foods got a lot in common, right? They can do different things. That's why you want to uh, different various whole food, plant-based food. But uh, you know, definitely want to do that. So we got the jalapeno, right? Now jalapeno, husbands, I'm gonna tell y'all, you want the natural. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's good for blood flow. I'm just gonna leave it like that, right? So I like to taste them as well. So leave it like that, right? So we make sure uh, we got the onions, got the bok choy, got the jalapeno. Do we do the mushrooms? Mushrooms, people. People don't like eating mushroom. People don't know about eating mushroom. Try to get mushrooms everything you can, right? We want to do different things where mushrooms going to be a part of the recipe, right? Because it has a lot of great stuff that it does. As with the other stuff, helps regulate blood pressure. It helps um, maintain good blood sugar uh, and all that good stuff. I think I meant to say one thing about something. Uh, what was the... Uh, I can't remember. Nevertheless, mushrooms are awesome. We're going to slice them up real good and put in our ramen remix noodle soup, right? Or noodle deal, right? All right, this is cilantro, right? So now garlic powder, like same, same, same stuff with, uh, with onion powder. I like to put onion powder in my, although I put an onion. I like the extra little taste. Same thing with garlic powder. Same thing. Another thing we want to do is get salt, right? This is, you want to get iodized salt, right? Iodized salt, the iodized salt is great, good for thyroid regulation, right? Thyroid controls um, uh, metabolism. It helps regulate our controls. It regulates metabolism. It regulates um, some other things, right? When people have issues with their thyroid gland and it gets enlarged, it causes major issues. So I know, I know a guy that he has some major th thyroid issues. And he his, he he lost he had some is, issues with his with his with his sight right. It, 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 uh, I, I knew one person also that had some thyroid issues, and um, they couldn't control. Their weight will, will bounce up and down. It'll be super slim one one you know a couple months and then get you know get get you know expensive get span you know what I'm talking about. They get a little bigger. So I asked them what was the problem right. And it's like man my they, the doctor said I got some thyroid issues. So if you see these type of symptoms right. It might be an issue with, with your thyroid, and if it's issue with your thyroid, that means you don't have enough iodine in your system. So, just you know, do, you know, you know, Cole Cliff's gonna throw some pro tips at your way all the time, every day. So now, as you see here, I did not mention I got some um, pepper too, right? Yeah, I pepper is a lot of a lot of the good stuff here, right? Pepper, I mean, excuse me, this right here. Remember. We say whole food, plant-based. We say 90% <laughs> of our calories. This don't really got a, any nutritional value. I don't think it does. It's super processed. But again, Coach Cliff, we, we, I'm coming to where you are, right? And look, I do, I do shopping cart, spine. That's what I do. That's what Coach Cliff does. It's just in my DNA at this point. So I look at people's shop carts. I say to myself, because I be thinking about y'all all the time, what can I do? To, to take the person shopper cart, see what they have in there, and still get the whole food plant based in it. This is why we got this stuff in here, right? So, hey, this is the, this part of that 10%, 90-10, 90% whole food plant based, 10%, this, this stuff right here. But we're gonna make it happen, right? So we got all that. So we wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some mushrooms. Now, mind you, you know, I'm giving you, the, not Coach Cliff, and I'm giving you a uh, uh, Chef Cliff here, right? We cut out, when we cut, our, uh, our, our vegetables, whatever we cutting, we want to put our finger right here, like a, like an edge. So we want to cut our finger, right? I don't know if I can get it real close, but cut it like that, right? You gonna have it like that, cut it like that. Nothing to it. Boom. A little bit more. Now, mind you, I wash these mushrooms off before I start it, right? Cut that all. Boom. It might be a little too much mushroom. I don't want too much. I do three, three little three, three mushrooms for for that. You know, but you like a lot of mushrooms, don't knock yourself out. They don't have calories and they're good for you, right? So here are my mushrooms, right? Cut up my cilantro, 
right? I'll fold them up like this. Y'all got a better way y'all can put it in the comments. Let's fold it up like this. Remember, we gonna stay safe here. I don't want y'all blame me if y'all cut y'all fingers. I'm showing y'all proper technique to go ahead and cut your vegetables up. Boom, get the fine edge right there like your hand, fold it, boom, 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 that's it. Put that right there, boom. Now, got the jalapeno, same difference, same technique. Hold it, keep your fingers safe, because y'all want y'all, 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 y'all need y'all fingers, right? I want y'all cutting yourself. Boom. And we're gonna put all that together, it doesn't even matter. Uh, what else we got? Got an onion. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it like a maybe half onion, right? And um you can get the skin off right here. I get the skin off right there. A little trick. Yeah, Coach Cliff was uh in the military and I was a cook. The reason why I want to be the cook, you know, I was 19 at that point. And uh, my reasoning was, uh, I figured a lot of females was going to be in there. So, and it was food. So food and female, don't tell my wife there. That was my selection process. But I was 19. It's all good, right? Anyway, I got some cooking skills from doing that. But y'all yeah, yeah, don't need it. Y'all don't need too much cooking skills to shut the chop. Just be, be careful, right? Chop some, slice some on you want to. Dice them up, go ahead if you want to, but if you want to slice them, by all means, right? So you got here, I got all my ingredients all chopped up. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to chop up the bok choy last, right? Because I'm we're going to put them in, um, we're going to put them in, well, you know what? Let me let me try a little, little extra remix. I'm going to chop up a little bit right now. Yeah, I'm going to chop it up now. I'm not going to put them in, cook them. I'm going to put them in last because I don't want them to, wilt out and, and you don't have nothing so there you go there you have it look this is an easy thing it won't take once you got your greens together you chop them up how long it took me five five minutes at the most i was breaking it breaking the stuff down so i probably could have done it faster than that right got it from the refrigerator knew how what i wanted put it on the chopping board and there you have it so what we're going to do next we're going to go to the stove cook this up i'm gonna get a pot get some water Get that, get that water boiling. So y'all gonna catch me at that stage. So y'all just, y'all just sit tight. All right, hey, y'all. As y'all see here, I got the boiling pot of water. If y'all don't know how to do this, I don't know what to say. Get your boiling pot of water, and um, we ready to roll, right? So first I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put the ramen. I'm gonna put the ramen noodle in there. Let that sit in there. You see it? Get a little close up of it, right? Let me get a little closer. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, we, we, we do it on the fly. So you got the ramen noodle in there. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and put all of my um all of my, my stuff in one time. Got the cilantro in there, mushroom, the onion. I'm going to put that in there all at one time. Let that, let that cook off for a little bit. So the, so, so the, so the flavors can marinate. They can talk with each other. Get to dancing with each other. Right? Get your little... I'm going to get my... I've got to get my fork. Let me get my fork real quick. Get my fork. Boom. Got to get the fork. So I stir this up, right? You want to stir this up real good. Boom. And, and you'll see the ramen, as y'all know, it'll, it'll break up. It'll break up, right? It'll get the ramen broken up. Let me put this down a little bit. Y'all can see it better. Yeah, this is, this is, this is me freestyling right here. Boom. Y'all see the ramen right there, right? I spilled a little bit of it. It's all good. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to get my seasons in there. I'm going to put some little garlic in there. Don't put too much because, uh, you know, too much garlic has that, that sulfur compound in it. It gets you, I think it, that's what makes the breast stink. But don't put too much in there, right? Go ahead. I'm going to keep my still boiling, right? Right? Because we, we just want to get the, we just get the ramen noodle soft and let these things talk with each other. All the seasons and stuff talk with each other. Remember the salt. Now I looked at this is not iodized salt, so a little pro tip. Make sure you get iodized salt, right? Get the iodized salt. This brand does do it, but I brought this by mistake. Make sure you get the iodized, iodized salt in there for the thyroid regulation, right? As you see, it's still still boiling, right? A little pepper, right? I already got the jalapeno in there, but I like mine's a little pepper. Y'all don't want to put the jalapeno in there, it's fine. I like the mine's. I told you I have the blood flow. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I get this boiling right quick, nothing to it, right? We want to cook our mushrooms. We don't want to be eating raw mushrooms. So 
you know, you st it's still going to be tender. You don't want them mushy, right? So as long as you cook them a good, good little bit, couple, several minutes, you'll be good to go, right? Now, uh, man, mind you, one thing I did, didn't want to say, I did, I forgot to say, y'all yeah, notice I didn't use the salt, the, the packet that came with the, with the, with the ramen packet, right? Don't, if you, if you want to use it, you can, right? It has a lot of sodium in it. If you use the whole packet, I think it has like one thirty of sodium in it. But let's say you want to use it, right? Say you, you like the flavor, right? But what I'm going to tell you, let me, let me get it real quick. Hold on. What you do, right? I got it right here. Right here. I got it right here. For you guys, I'm going to meet you halfway. I'm going to meet you halfway. Let's be strategic about this, right? It is super processed. And I'm going to tell you, if you need to use it because you're used to it, your shoes, don't even like use, put it in your hand like that, right? Get an idea. You see? That's about maybe one third of the packet. If, you, if you're used to that flavor, throw some in there, right? Throw some in there. If you got some more salt or sodium in there, obviously in there. And, and that's it. That is a pretty simple thing. So what we did was, we took a, a well, we say an unhealthy uh, a nutritional choice, and we put some some whole food plant base in it, right? And you can do it, right? You can do it. You let this thing cook. You know, like I said, we'll make sure the mushrooms cook real good. Don't overcook it to where uh, the, the, you know, the vegetables are overcooked and the, all the nutrients out of it. It might take some little bit of it, but you know, it's all good. I'll, I'll put the, the heat down a little bit. You know, I like I like my I like my, my ramen noodles a little. I don't like them too much. I got, got a little, little al dente. You know what I'm talking about? That's what they say on the cook channel, al dente to the tooth. So, you know, you want them not mushy, but a little, little hard to them, right? So, I like my noodles like that. And you want to taste y'all food, right? Taste y'all food. I'm going to get a spoon, y'all. Just bear with me. Get this spoon. Taste the flavor of, 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 the, of, the, of the thing, right? Taste the, you got the, got the juice. We call it the juice, the ramen juice. Taste it. I like that because I now when you mix all of those th those seasonings, the salt, pepper, the garlic powder, onion powder, you can taste it. Th and then you got the, the spices, uh, got your you got your uh, your salt salt not a spice, but anyway you got your definitely got your uh, pepper, and you can taste the mushrooms and all the all the um, you know the, the the vegetables we put in there, right? That's it, right? You see you see my ramen noodle, still got a little bite to them. They're not. They're not too too soft, right? Now, what you can do is uh, just use all. You want to use some of the, you know, some of the ramen juice and put it in the bowl, which we're gonna do in a second, right? Uh, you know, you want to drink some of it, you know, or, or you want to just put it in the bowl. So let's go. I'm gonna put it in the bowl real quick. You don't catch me uh, getting ready to get it, get it in. So just get hold tight. I'm gonna put this in the bowl. Y'all gonna see how I look. And you gonna go, Coach Swift gonna get it in a little bit with the, with the ramen noodle remix. Pour everything in there in one shot in the bowl, right? You see it here, right? Remember that bok choy we were talking about? You gonna put that in last, right? We don't want we overcook these leafy greens, right? Leafy greens, remember it, it's antioxidant. We want to keep that in its natural state, so it can do what we have to do, so we don't have old rusty cells, right? Anyway. Got that in there. It got a good taste to it. When you put the mushrooms in there and they let them cook, it gives you that good umami taste to it. That's that good cooking term. It's like that salty taste, but it's natural. It's earthy, right? Have that in there with all the different um, seasons I put in there, the garlic powder, the uh, onion powder. And um, you don't even taste the, the, the jalapeno that much, right? Because it cooks off a little bit, but it gives off a nice little flavor to it, right? Um, so that, I mean, that's basically it. Uh, what it took me? It took me uh, two minutes to get the stuff out. Wash the wash the uh, vegetable two three minutes, chopped them up two three minutes, cooked it maybe five minutes, and I'm done. Ten twelve minutes, you you at the table and you're about to get it in, right? So I, I mean that's basically it, right? Like I said, I'm, Coach Cliff gonna meet you where you at. We put we took that. We don't recommend using that whole salt packet because it got a lot of sodium in it, and then um you know we we hey, we meet you where he's at. So we took the sodium packet, put it in my hand. Got about a quarter, thirty of it, third, one third of it, and put it in in, in, in a bowl because you might be used to eating it like that way. So um, it may take a while. So we want you to um, gradually reduce putting that in there. So you got to put half a minute. We don't put. We say no more than half.
to start off and then work your way down from there, right? Uh, so that's that's where it's at. Ramen, ramen noodle remix. And um, hey, we're going to do a lot more of these videos. As we say, as, as, as the saying goes, can't outwork a bad diet. And um, you got to have an intentional plan about dealing with this chronic disease, right? And and all the things we eat in this, in this bowl is definitely uh, promoting anti-chronic disease, right? That means the heart attacks, the strokes, the heart attacks, strokes, the cardiovascular disease, your, your diabetes type 2, and, and a lot of, um, you know, bad stuff for our gut, too. There's a lot of stuff in this in this deal where it helps with um, gut, good gut health and good cell health, right? We always got to keep that in mind. We're going to keep these foods. 90 10%, 90% whole food, plant-based, 10%, those ramen noodles. That's how that's how I break down if you want a practical way of looking at it, right? Anyway, if y'all need help, boy, check out the website. Optimal in this life. Um, got uh, working on, like I say, it's still May right now. So we work May 2024. Uh, we're working on that course. So we hope to get that course done soon. And um, we got some coaching programs there as well. So check us out. You know, our solution, our, we, we are a solution provider to, to getting you to uh, pr reduce chronic disease from your body. If you, if you got chronic disease in your body, 6% of the population does. I need to highlight Coach Cliff. I don't have it in my body. And then I don't want, I want y'all to have it in your body. And, and I'm, what I'm doing is pretty simple and, and, it, and it can be done in, in a pretty short amount of time, right? And um, that's how it goes down. So we're going to do it in honor of the Italians, even though this is a Asian mix. We're going to go ahead and take these noodles and we're going to slurp it up. You see what I'm doing? Slurp it up. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all good. Good to go stuff. So as, as I said, go ahead. Share, subscribe, like it, and I, I'll holler at y'all.